All right, so this video is going to be really, really crazy because I'm going to show you how to create a custom toggle button in Excel. So let's get started. All right, so let me show you the toggle button that I have right now in my worksheet. As you can see, the color of this button is red, but as soon as I click on it, it moves to the right side and change its color from red to green and it also applies this conditional formatting this color scale conditional formatting to this data now in this video i'm going to show you how you can create this button and what is the code that you need for this button so let me go to my visual basic editor if you don't have the developer tab you can go to your file tab go to options and from there you need to click on the customize ribbon and then you need to tick mark your developer tab from here and then click ok so once you get the developer tab you need to go to the visual basic editor where i have this code now here i have five different codes and out of these five codes i have three codes that i'm using to run this button and the rest of the two codes are basically for applying conditional formatting and the the fifth one is basically to clear the conditional formatting so the fourth one is to apply the conditional formatting and the fifth one is to clear the conditional formatting so these two codes works with this button so when you turn it off it will remove the conditional formatting and if you turn it on it will apply the conditional formatting so you can use any of the activity with this button all you need to do is you need to have two different codes to you know perform the activity or turn on something and then one more code to turn it off now let me go back to my visual basic editor and show you how these codes actually work and how you can edit these codes for yourself so let me click on the visual basic editor and here i have my you know all the codes now as i said we have five different codes and let me quickly explain to you how these codes actually work so let me start with the last code first so here this code removes the conditional formatting from this range so this range is basically starting from b2 to m11 and that is why i have this range here b2 to m11 and this code remove conditional formatting from this entire range and above this code i have one more code which actually applies the conditional formatting the color scale conditional formatting to the same range but here instead of having a single range i have an array of rows basically b2 to m2 and b3 to m3 in that way like one two three i have these rows so the condition formatting that is applied to all of these rows are independent each row has its separate conditional formatting rule all right so now it's time to understand the actual codes that work behind this button now here as i said we have three different codes and out of these three two codes the move shape and pause for milliseconds these two codes are basically functions that makes this button work in a smooth way now let me show you how this button will work if we don't use these two codes for the movement of the button let me right click on it and use a different code that doesn't use these two functions and now let me click on the button and now you can see the moment i click on it it goes to the right turn it on but the movement of the button is not that smooth but if i go and use the actual code that use those two functions the movement is pretty smooth and little slow so let me quickly tell you how these two functions work and this function this code makes that movement after a very slight difference of time so it's like you know instead of making a jump of 10 meter it goes like 10 different jumps of one meter and also there is a time pause between every jump so this is how these two functions codes work and make this you know this button pretty smooth all right so now let's understand how the actual code behind this button works so first of all we have this variable which is a uh, you know which saves 
the value as true or false and this variable is a module level variable it's not the code level variable or procedure level variable it's a module level variable the reason we have defined this variable out of the code because we want this variable to save its value and retain that value even the code is you know finished and because we need that value next time when you run the code all right so now let's jump in into the main code now in this code we have two variables to save the name of the shape so the shape is basically the button itself and then we have a if statement which actually is the crux of this entire code now what happens is when you run this code it checks if the value in this variable is true or not if the value is true that means the button is turned on that means the button is already on the right side so if the value is true then it will move it back to the left and also change the value of the variable to false itself and then also change the color of the color of this button into red and in the end it will run the code which is remove color scale from range that means it will move the button to the left side change the value of the variable change the color of the shape and also run the code to remove the conditional formatting and if the value of this variable is false that means the button is already at the left side and it will move the button the shape using the value 30 that we have defined so this is a positive value that means it is going to move the shape to the right side now the value of the variable is false and it will change that value to true and then change the color of the shape from red to green and then run this code that is apply color scale to multiple rows which actually applies the conditional formatting to all the rows in this data